so here we are we're waiting at the bar for the guy to show up we're gonna have a threesome myself my partner and another guy and so we've set up a no play meeting and uh, no play meeting is when you you know you connect with different people online or you talk to different people and you you want to meet them in person right so you set up a no play meeting where you're just going to get together you're going to talk about sex <laughs> you're going to talk about things all sorts of things around what you like and what you don't like and there's there's no pressure here to to play with them because maybe energetically you're not going to connect you're not going to get along maybe um they're not going to be as attractive as you thought they were but maybe they also will and that will be a fun titillating kind of conversation that will get you set up and ready for the next phase of setting up the real play the real play date so this is a no play date so you go to a bar to meet. I went many times with my, my now ex-husband. We would go to bars or to cafes if it was during the day and meet up with the third guy. Um, this is somebody that we would meet online. So that would be through, well, we used Craig, Craigslist quite a bit then. We had a lot of response on Craigslist when we posted looking for a third to have a threesome, a male to have a threesome, specific, prefer a preferably bisexual or bi-curious and we would we would set up a plan to meet with them at a cafe or a, a bar and have a conversation so in the beginning I was freaking terrified doing this like it was scary because uh, I didn't really we had no idea who this person really was I mean we saw one or two three pictures and you know what pictures are like they don't they don't show you very they show you very little about what the person's really like and sometimes people post pictures that are a little bit older um, old pictures I mean or pictures that that um, that are touched up a lot or the best possible look of them and there's we have, we're, we're all we all have so many different looks right and for them for that third that guy coming and I didn't really think about it that much um for a long time until it was brought aware, brought to my attention that there's two of us there's me and my husband here waiting so we are kind of a more powerful force the guy the the guy showing up was on his own and i found out after talking to after many different meetings because i would get more comfortable and more able to ask more questions of the the person that was showing up sometimes it was a woman sometimes it was a couple but um, just more comfortable asking really more intimate questions. And I did start to ask, like, how did you feel coming here? How did you feel before? How did you feel showing up here just with two with us? And they always said I was super nervous. I was super, I was super scared. I, I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. And I was nervous about showing up. And so were we. <laughs> I was nervous, very nervous in the beginning. I, after doing this many times, I started to calm down quite a bit and I would get right to the questions right off the bat that I wanted to know. But every single time that we came into having a, a meeting, a no play meeting with somebody, and this was a, a, with the possibility of then the three of us going off and having a threesome, um, whether I was attracted to that person or not, I always went into it just being super curious. What, what is what is this person like? What are they interested in? What turns them on? What are they not interested in? What kind of experiences have they had before? Um, what are their fantasies? What what so so there's so many kinds of questions that you can ask that even if you are first not um, you're not attracted to the person or maybe you are initially but later you find out you're not because of something that they said take this as an opportunity for you and your partner to talk about sex with a stranger and that's that's fun <laughs> that's fun in itself because it's not the kind of conversation you have with people that often but to have it with a complete stranger you can you can really just find out stuff about them find out about what what their world is about their sexual world is about what their experiences are like who they are what they feel it really teaches you a lot about human humanity about 
people's perspective around sexuality and it helps you learn about yourself because you may get and I remember getting and hearing answers that I thought, wow, like I've never really thought about it in that way before. That was really, that was really, um, that was really intuitive, really a deep answer that came from this person. And, and it makes me think about what do I believe here? What, 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 what do I want in my life around this aspect? So the no play meeting is absolutely, I think, um, necessary to set up when you're putting together a threesome. Uh, again, it, it alleviates any kind of stress that you have to play with this person because after the meeting, after you have this long conversation, however long it may be, it might be 15 minutes uh, because there's absolutely zero connection and interest from anybody and somebody he or she the other person um or you just decide no okay this is enough i think we're finished maybe it goes on for an hour or two it just great conversation great connection or you just want to get to know each other better or you have a lot in common so let it flow let it go let it go very naturally it's a really great opportunity um for you and your partner to go out and just learn and to explore other people Right. Um, I strongly suggest uh, that you and your party don't make any decision about whether you're going to play with this person or not in this meeting. Wait until the meeting's over and then you and your partner discuss, okay, what did you think? What did you feel? Um, how did you like that person? Would you like to move forward with this person or not? I found in the beginning when uh, we started to meet up with different people for coffees or drinks, I had a certain idea of the kind of person I wanted to include in our threesome. You know, we were looking for a bisexual guy, but I had a certain physical look that I was attracted to. And after having a few meetings, I realized that my husband had a very different idea of what he wanted to explore, what kind of physical look he was interested in for a, a partner to explore with. Of course, there's a physicality that is important, but then there's the emotional connection as well. It's extremely important. Something else I learned that was really fascinating for me because there are so many wrong impressions about men and their connection to what they think about sexuality. You know, there's, I grew up believing that, and I was told this, all men want to have sex all the time. All men think about is sex. Men will do anything for sex at any time. And I realized that that's just absolute total crap. It's not true at all. You know, men are human beings, just as women are human beings, just as anybody, any human being has all sorts of different insecurities and um, likes and dislikes and favors and um, things that are going on in their life and past baggage that they're carrying. I mean, there are complex beings, right? So not every guy you meet is going to be even into it. You might be into this person and the two of you think, well, yeah, like he's really, we really like him and we really want to have, go to have a, another experience. But there has been situations, there were situations where he said, no, like, no, it's not for me. Or he kept putting off the second date. He can't make it. He can't show up. So he may, may, may have been either not for him or he was scared. I see a lot of fear not just um, between me and my partner, between us, but with the third person that's coming in. You know, people have a lot of fears. They, there was a lot of times that we would show up for um, a meeting at a bar or a restaurant and the person just wouldn't show up. I mean, they would be texting and saying they're coming and then just nothing, silence. <laughs> and I knew that, that that person obviously had a lot of fear moving into the next step. So there are steps involved. There's that step of, okay, yeah, we're going to talk to people online. We really want to do this. We really want to have a threesome. Then there's the step of actually meeting that person in, in real life. And that's why, again, I think no play meetings are really important because they might not show up, right? We always showed up because we had each other. We, we had our power. But, it, you know, at times it was scary, too, to show up. But we showed up. We showed up. But there were a number of times that the third did not show up. 
And sometimes they would just disappear off the face of the map. And sometimes they would text later, oh, I'm really sorry, this came up, can we try again? We'd give somebody a couple of chances. But, you know, there's only <laughs> so much because, um, you know, especially as we got more experience, we were ready to go. We wanted to be somebody who was also ready to take the, take the moves. Even if you were scared, just come and meet with us. You don't have to do anything in a no-play situation, in a no-play meeting or non-committal meeting is another way of putting it. So make that clear that that's what this is. Um, just anecdotally, one time we did not make that clear that this was a no-play meeting, and he got kind of angry because he was expecting it to be a play meeting, um, and we had, we had not made it clear that it wasn't going to be a play meeting. Um, so it's, you know, so he got a little bit frustrated and angry and we literally said, we have to go, that's it. And we just left and took off and left because he was getting a little bit aggressive in, in, in what he wanted. Um, so be clear, that was only one time out of many, many situations. So don't have any fear around that. Um, and so this whole concept that men are like ready to have sex right away, let's go. There were also the situation where, yeah, we want to be with this guy. We both feel connected. We feel excited. He felt excited, connected. He wanted to be with us. We'll try to get three people to have the same day where they're feeling good, that they're relaxed, that they want to like partake in an intimate se se sexual situation with other people. You know, not just, it's not just me who has all of these things going on in my body and emotionally and physically, but my husband who has his stuff. And then this guy who has his stuff. It, you know, I'm not feeling good today. I'm not really in the mood for this today. Or I had a really bad day today. So I don't really want to go forward with Let's do it another day. So there, it's, it's a complex combination of coming together at times. So you have to have patience and understanding as well uh, again so that's why it's important to have a no play day that now you have maybe you you and go on a lot of meetings go on a lot of meetings have fun go out if somebody didn't show up one we were already going out together and and meeting somebody and having fun that way if someone didn't show up hey we had a drink we had a coffee we chatted we had a nice time talked to other people there in the bar um, or the, the cafe if if it, they showed up and it didn't work out, we didn't feel attracted, well, that's okay too. We still had an, an interesting conversation. We learned, always learn something. Um, and if it did work out, even better, because then we knew that we would one time, one, eventually get to meet up. Um, and on the very rare occasion where we had a no play meetup, and the energy was so intense between the three of us, like just, it was just, you felt it, you all felt it, you all knew, you didn't have to really talk much about the fact that we were going to take the next step, we just took the next step immediately, like we would either uh, go and get a hotel room nearby and just spend some time together, or maybe they were able to come back to our place or us to their place, it happened a few times and that was really, really exciting. So I hope that helps you in moving forward and having a threesome. Know that everybody has a little bit of fear and that's okay and that's part of the fun. That's part of the excitement of, of going into this kind of exploration. If you have any questions or you'd like to make any comments, then do so be below and I, or share some of your own experiences so that you know we can start to demystify this, 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 scary aspect of doing this we're just we're all bodies we're all human bodies and we we like to be touched and caressed and and i am trying to demystify this whole concept you know connect sexual connection that we we're we're scared of having um and 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 allowing uh our relationships to expand and explore in other other kinds of ways other dimensions so thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel. It's so great to be here. I'm going to go have a little drink in my uh, virtual bar and relax. I hope you do too. And I will see you again next week. Much love making.